Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. I figured I had time to do one more before I started cooking dinner. Um, Pisces, September. Now, if you like these readings, please comment below because I'm just trying to figure out, you know, who wants them and who doesn't. So let's just, if you like the readings, if you want me to keep doing Pisces readings, uh, let me know. So what do we have for September? What do we have for September? I guess I'm at a place where I'm focusing, and maybe this is a message for you, on people that appreciate me, you know, that, that uh, and maybe this is coming out for you, and people that, you know, want to be involved, uh, you know, I don't, maybe that's a message for you. Shark, take care, or there will be a loss of material wealth out of the deck chain chain of events that will affect your life you definitely have somebody around you i'm not sure that you can trust this person right you need to be careful there may be somebody that's after your money and there is going to be a chain of events that affect your life in september let's see if we get that to clear up oh yes we did so that's nice what do we have for Pisces? There's going to be a chain of events, and there could be a loss of material wealth. Be careful. What do we have for Pisces? Unexpected help is arriving. It is reversed. Maybe there's no help. Damn. Maybe you don't see it as being help when it arrives. Maybe you've been ignoring something. Maybe there's some unexpected help that has arrived and you don't see it. Or maybe this is a message to not, I mean, maybe be careful with who you deal with. Be careful with any contracts. Be careful with trusting anybody. I mean, come on now. So you, you could have somebody coming around you that you think that you can trust. You think that they're going to help you and they take advantage of you. Be careful, please. I'm going to put that back in the deck and we're going we're gonna to not do that. Anyhow, um, but I feel like you definitely have an issue because there's somebody that you may think that you can trust, but you can't. I mean, that's, that's a good message. I think that you need to be very careful, especially for your money. You, this person may seem that you can trust them, but they're only after your money. So, damn. This is only lust. There's lust here. There's some sort of lust. Be careful. Lust is devil energy, right? Rejection is God's protection. So, there is a higher power here. There is a rejection. Um, and this, there's financial loss. So, I mean... Damn, something is going on here. Somebody's taking advantage of you. Greedy. Anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? You may be being rejected from somebody. If that is the case, consider that God's protection. Ooh, the emperor could be dealing with an Aries. Doesn't have to be. This may be a boss, a judge, a ruler. A king, you know, this is some a masculine energy that makes a decisions. This is a p person in a position of authority. Could even be a judge, a leader, somebody. Could be a business owner. Um, the emperor is a decision maker. This is a person that makes decisions that is that is typically best for everybody involved. Considers, you know, his family, his people, his tribe when he makes his decisions. There's definitely something that has been hidden that is coming to the surface. Probably a lot of secrets. This is a, this is a, this is a decision that is best for everybody involved. So there is going to be a chain of events. Either the boss is making the decision, the father... The husband, it's a masculine energy. The judge. Okay.
King of Cups reversed. Damn it, you're getting reversals. King of Cups reversed is emotionally withdrawing. It's it's not communicating, shutting down emotions, emotional loss. There's some sort of emotions all over the place. This is somebody that may not be emotionally available, doesn't have good intentions. So you're either dealing with an Aries or uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be anybody else. We have somebody here that is probably ignoring their intuition. They may be in a state of illusion even with the King of Cups. Somebody needs to look deeper at a situation, not just look at the surface. There's, they need to... Get, I feel like Pisces, it's a time of organization. It's a time of structure. You may need to get organized. You may need to restructure things. You may need to take charge. You may need to take your power back from somebody. There's somebody here that is probably in a position of authority and they're making a decision. They're making, it's a hard decision. It's, it's not with their feelings, okay? Or their feelings are all over the place. This could be like... Well, this is typically, the Emperor is typically very hard, wears a very hard shell. But the King of Cups reverse can be somebody who is very emotional or they're completely emotionally withdrawn. So somebody may be emotionally withdrawn. What do we have for Pisces? There's some sort of sadness here. There is sadness, heartbreak maybe. Ace of Gabrielle, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. So this is the Ace of Wands. So this is a new start here. There's a, there's a sudden desire. It's a sudden change. A passionate change. Somebody's going to be acting on their desires. You know, they have a strong desire for something. Um, somebody is going to be doing something. I feel like it's risky. I feel like they're going to be taking a very big risk. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with. What do we have for Aries? Deception. And I saw that with the loss. There's betrayal here. There's some sort of betrayals here. Someone is wearing a false self, self mask in this relationship. Somebody's not telling the truth. I feel like there's something that is probably going to be revealed. Um, somebody, and it's a felt, and you see, and you notice it says false self mask. I did mention delusionment, okay? Somebody is probably not listening to their intuition they may be in a state of illusion you know there's an exciting opportunity here to start over because the ace of wands is is a new passion it's a new drive it's a new desire i feel like somebody has a new desire they have a new ambition it's like they have a sudden i mean this is a sense of wonder they they have this desire to explore new territory that's what i see there is going to be a chain of events that affect your life, and there's probably going to be a cost that comes with it. Somebody's in a partnership that is only lust, and there's going to be a rejection of some sort. I feel like we have somebody here that's coming to their senses. Now, that could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. The emperor makes sound decisions. This is somebody that is battle-ready, that is very strong and courageous and knowledgeable and wants security. This is somebody that is very focused on security and stability. And, and not only for himself, but his family, you know, his tribe. So somebody is definitely making a decision that is best for everybody involved. This is a boss. A boss energy. Anyhow, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Cups reversed. Now, the Seven of Wands is some sort of tough position. We have somebody here that is in a tough position. They may be feeling attacked. They may be getting attacked. I mean, this is being caught off guard. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be caught off guard by some sort of attack. You know, they're feeling it. They're really feeling like... Uh, they're in a position where they have to defend themselves. So somebody is going to be on the defensive. There is something here that is not working out. 
somebody's not trying hard enough, they're not putting in much effort, they're not really interested, they're very combative, they're very defensive. There's a sense of loss here. This Five of Cups is prolonged grief, focusing on a loss. I feel a loss of love, a loss of emotional fulfillment. Somebody has been focusing on a situation where there's no love and I feel like they're really in their feelings about it and I feel like we have somebody here that is looking in another direction because something isn't working out and they've been maintaining their position up until now but now they're not putting in and very much effort and I feel like it's because they're looking in a new direction I feel like they've they've tried to uh, make it work but it's like giving up now i do feel like we have a battle here i feel like we have a battle because the emperor is ready to fight and then we have this fight here um i feel like you're going to be caught off guard by somebody's desire to stop putting in effort and i feel like it's because they're putting in effort in a new direction when you get the five of cups reversed this that, that is another option this is beginning to realize that there is a better option Nine of Cups reversed, or Nine of Cups reversed. It's Nine of Swords reversed, but the Nine of Cups reversed is lack of wish fulfillment. This is a nightmare. No abundance, a lack of love, plenty of material things, but no love. Very egotistical. The Nine of Swords reverse is giving deep thought to a relationship. There is somebody here that is very stressed out. They have a lot going on and they're probably sick of it. This is like an illness. Somebody's sick of the fighting. They're sick of the the combativeness. They're thick, sick of having to defend themselves. And I feel like we have somebody here that is just depleted. You know, they're just depleted. It's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to worry about this. I don't want to live in this stress. I don't want to fight anymore. There's definitely some fighting here and always needing to defend. It's like, I'm so sick of it. And it's causing a lot of sleepless nights. I feel like we have somebody here that has been, and I feel like it's you. I feel like you've been struggling. You've been struggling with your thoughts about whether you should put in effort into something that has been so combative, right? Um... There's definitely a lot of conflict here and power struggles. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Somebody's giving up on something that isn't working out. There is, I feel like there's another option here. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Now, here you go, okay? You definitely need to be careful. This is somebody who's taking advantage of another person just for their money, okay? Um... And I feel like you are about to face a challenge, okay? This is a, I feel like you're about to face a challenge. I feel like you, there's a need for discipline. There's a need to take action. Some of you may be in a situation that, you know, you just don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone, so you're staying with somebody that is very uh, defensive or this person likes to fight or they're always questioning you. You know, and I feel like you've reached, I feel like you've reached a point where you have to make a choice that is best for everybody involved. And maybe this involves your children or, or, or they're making a choice. This could be, if you're not the emperor, and I know everybody's going to say, oh, I am the emperor, but the emperor is an alpha. This is an alpha male. This is or an alpha masculine who definitely makes decisions. Uh, and typically, I, I mean, I wouldn't think that it is a Pisces. I'm just being honest. Uh, Pisces is very feminine. It's a very feminine energy, okay? Typically not an emperor energy, and that's the truth, okay? So anyhow, I would feel like um, somebody is making a decision about their stability, about their security, and there's definitely a lack of abundance here. There's a financial loss. It could be a financial decrease. Things could be going downhill, and they could be going downhill fairly fast, I feel like there's somebody here that is going to extremes. They may be fighting over money, fighting over the finances. Um, there's a lack of emotional content here. I feel like we have somebody here that is looking for somebody to take care of them financially. And now there's power struggles with the, with the work. There's probably work issues. There's money problems. You may be dealing with somebody that doesn't really want to work or they're not putting in much effort. Maybe this person just is causing a lot of stress. I feel like there's a stressful financial issue here that is causing a lot of conflict, put it that way. I feel like um, there's emotional withdrawal. There's a lack of communication. I feel like we have somebody here that is um, 
needing to take action. They need to face their fears. They need to protect themselves. They need to defend themselves. And they need to look in a new direction. So whether that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aries. You have Aries here. You have Aries there. But you also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, now, the, the Fool is a new beginning. It's a new journey. It's leaving everything behind. It's freedom. Stepping into new territory. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to do something spontaneous. They, uh, maybe uh, this is like on a whim, doing something on a whim. It's very exciting and we do have an excitement here. This is leaving something behind completely and just starting over from scratch. So somebody's going to be making a decision. I feel like it's, it's best for everybody involved. I feel like it's time to start over. I feel like, um, there's a need to have faith. Okay. Believe in yourself. And somebody's taking a risk, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Six of Wands is a hero, right? This is a uh, this is victory after sorrow. So this is the end of a battle. Here's the battle. This is the fighting. This is the conflict that is causing so much stress and so much aggravation and worry. And it's definitely financial. There's a lot of financial problems here. We also have somebody here that doesn't know their value. The Nine of Pentacles reverse is somebody doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, that, you know, doesn't, can't find their discipline to take charge of a situation. This person may not work hard. They could be lazy or they just, maybe they're delusional and they can't see that they're being taken advantage of. And I know I just changed the story, but we have somebody here that really needs to boss up they need to get practical they need to take action they need to find their discipline to have victory so i feel like we have somebody here that is um beginning to realize that there is another option and they're about to do something brave that fool is very brave the six of wands is a hero a leader not a follower this is somebody that is probably being urged they're being urged to go in that new direction they're being urged to you know go after success or, or to follow through with their plans or maybe even to stop fighting because here we have the fighting before the six of wands comes the five of wands which is the gaming it's the fighting it's the competition so i feel like there's been a lot of conflict this is turning turning their back on the games turning their back on the conflict we have somebody here that is making a decision to go and, and i feel like there's been a lot of uh fear, worry, stress, and I think the worry and the fear and the stress is mostly about being alone and being and about the financial loss that comes with making this move. Um, there's definitely a, a financial loss here. There is. Somebody may have lost their job or they've just start, they've just given up. They've given up and putting in any effort to, I mean, I don't see any love here. And I feel like it's because this person has the self-confidence that, or they've found their, their strength, their inner strength to take action because they've had such a significant loss. I mean, Nine of Pentacles reverse is not living a good life. This is somebody that uh, outside appearances are more important. And this is somebody that is really unstable, really insecure, not putting in much effort. This person may not want to work or, they, or they're just draining somebody's bank account. This boss leader is about to take charge. Even if it means financial loss. Even if it means going in a new direction. Somebody's about to do something and it's definitely spontaneous. This is... This is protecting oneself. You do definitely need to protect yourself, protect your assets. Wheel of Fortune, that's positive change. This is this is a good luck. It's luck. It's a wheel of fate spinning you in a new direction. It's luck is on your side. We have somebody here that is definitely, it's like they're rolling, they're moving. This is serious movement, moving in a new direction. 
Now, we have a chain of events that are going to affect your life. This is a chain of events that are going to affect your life. Somebody could literally be moving because this is movement. This is the end of a battle. Here's the battle. Now it's over. I feel like we have somebody here that is just like, you know what? I'd rather be alone than fight all the time. I feel like we have somebody here that's going to be in a put position where they have to answer some questions. And this is like, oh my God, oh my God. Somebody's getting pushed away as well. This is an arrival. This six of wands is an arrival. This is a this is somebody that is very respectable. I mean, the six of wands is, is that noble individual who um, takes charge of situations and has the skills to succeed. So there is somebody here that is going to be doing something to succeed, and they're heading in a new direction. They they could be coming in if you are single. If you're single, you may not be single for much longer. There is emotional withdrawal here. Somebody that doesn't have good intentions, which is interesting. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They're, they're lying about their feelings. They're wearing a mask, but something, there's going to be an, a fight or something like that that changes everything. This is like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening, but whatever this is, and it has to do with the work or the job. I don't know if somebody's been doing something at work and now it's, causing issues being seen this is enlightenment this is being seen because the this when the sun comes out in the morning everything gets seen but this is a happy new day it's a breakthrough this is this is something being seen very very clearly somebody's going through a period of enlightenment this is freedom we saw it in the sun card as well This is congratulations as well. The Six of Wands. Happiness. This is a breakthrough. It's a life-giving energy. This is a new day. This is freedom. This is freedom. Somebody is breaking free from something that they have been struggling with. There's positive change here. But you do need to be careful because I feel like there's somebody in your circle that is taking advantage of you financially. And I feel like this person is fighting and they're fighting and fighting and fighting and all they care about is the money. Anyhow, the sun card is a new day. That is a yes answer. It's beautiful. It's bliss. It's happiness. It's, this is victory after sorrow. The six of wands is victory after sorrow. So something is happening in September that brings you happiness. It's going to bring you peace because this is peace. The six of wands is peace. It means the battle is over. The battle is over. The battle is over. Congratulations. The battle is over. Headed towards destined you know, whatever destiny. So you're headed towards something that is more peaceful. Both of these cards are peaceful. This is a warm, sunny place. It's beautiful. So you're headed towards something more peaceful. There could definitely be a fallout or a financial loss. This is a financial mess. It's no contingency plan. Somebody's bitten off more than they can chew. This could be a fall. It could be a fall from power or a fallout or somebody is losing something. I feel like there's somebody that is under a lot of financial pressure. They've been they've been able to handle whatever it is that they're juggling with, but there's going to something's going to happen where somebody trips or they fall or something happens and something gets seen. Somebody's been juggling, maybe they've even been juggling two people or two situations. They've been able to to handle it up until now, but there's going to be chaos. There's this is upheaval.
I feel like we have somebody here that overextended themselves and now we have financial chaos or a financial mess and it's fighting over it, fighting over the mess. Four of Swords. Four of Swords is taking a time out. Death of a situation. Um, healing energy. <laughs> healing from a loss. I see the loss with the Five of Cups. There is a loss. There is a loss here. I feel like we have somebody here that needs to take charge. They need to take control. They need to... I feel like there's somebody that's about to uh, go in a new direction that is more peaceful. I feel like there's been a lot of conflict, but I feel like it's coming to an end. Um, oh my goodness, Emperor Reverse on the bottom. This is somebody that is angry, that is upset, maybe very controlling, maybe even a tyrant. I mean, the Emperor Reversed uh, may do things that are against the law, sees themselves as above the law. This may be somebody that lacks morals or has control issues. Uh, the Emperor Reversed. Out of control, angry, upset, doesn't care, doesn't doesn't uh, take everybody else into consideration. Very selfish, unreasonable. This could be a corrupt leader, somebody that uh, sees themselves as the, as the boss and uses their title to push people around. This could be a father figure, a boss, a husband, a masculine, whatever. This is somebody that abuses their power. This person is about to see a fall from power or a huge loss. I mean, I see the loss. Now, this may be somebody who has, and this could be you, I suppose. I don't know. This, could, this is somebody that has given their power away. They have not taken their leadership skills Seriously. But we go from the emperor reversed. So for those of you at the beginning that said, oh yeah, I'm the emperor. You need to take your leadership skills seriously. To have victory, you have to be willing to take charge. You have to be willing to make decisions even if they're tough ones, even if they're hard ones. You got, and it's interesting that I said typically the emperor isn't a Pisces. We got this Pisces over here whose emotions are all over the place. Come on now. If you want to be the emperor, then you got to take charge. You got to master your emotions. You got to be the leader. You got to be the boss. You can't let your feelings get in the way of making sound decisions. There is going to be an event. Something is happening and it's going to change your life. And I think it, it happens over money. It's like there's a financial issue that changes everything. Um, be careful with who you deal with. There is somebody around you that you cannot trust. It appears like it's another water sign or an Aries. Could be a Leo. Good luck.